Hi everybody, welcome to this optimization guide for Schedule 1. I'm Dennis and today I'll walk you through the best settings to get this game running smoothly, especially since it's a very CPU intensive title. That's why we're comparing Schedule 1's performance across four setups. DX11 and DX12 with SMT on, and DX11 and DX12 with SMT off. And just as mentioned, this game's CPU heavy design makes these choices critical, so let's break it down with some footage. First up, here's a simultaneous run capped at 100 FPS. Check out the frame times on screen. Smoother lines means a more consistent experience. With DX11 and SMT on, you'll see some spikes. Those are stutters from the CPU crunching draw calls. DX11 with SMT off tightens it up a bit, but still lags behind. Starting with DX11 and SMT enabled, simultaneous multi-threading for those unfamiliar lets your CPU handle more threads at once. In this setup, you'll notice decent frame rates, but there's some stuttering in busy scenes. The game's reliance on CPU power means it's pushing those threads hard. Now, DX12 steps in. With SMT on, frame times improve noticeably. DirectX 12's better threat management shines here, but the real standout is DX12 with SMT off. Turning SMT off reduces threat contention, and paired with DX12's efficiency, it delivers the steadiest pacing at this 100 FPS. Next, let's look at raw FPS across different locations. Here's a quiet area. DX11 struggles to hold steady, dipping more with SMT on. DX12 pulls ahead, and again, SMT off takes the lead with the highest average FPS. DX12 with SMT off consistently outperforms, minimizing drops and keeping frames stable. So you might ask yourself, why does this combo win? Schedule 1 leans hard on the CPU, and DX12 optimizes draw calls better than DX11. Disabling SMT seems to cut overhead on my setup, letting DX12 stretch its legs. Your results might shift based on your CPU, but for me, DX12 with SMT off is the sweet spot. To play Schedule 1 in DirectX 12, all we're going to have to do is change the main properties for the game. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could either do this to the executable file directly, um, or how we're going to do it, it's the easier way, is to just do it directly through Steam. So all you're going to have to do is open up Steam, go to your library tab, search for Schedule, in this case already typed it in. But if you can't find it, just type in schedule, hover over the name, right click, properties, and then we're already in the, already in the general tab. And all you're going to have to do is type in exactly this. There's no space in between. So all you're going to have to type is minus force minus D3 D12. This is going to force the game to run in DirectX 12. All right, so in order to turn off SMT or the Intel equivalent uh, to hyper-threading, all you're gonna have to do is go into your BIOS under the Tweaker tab and search for a option called Advanced CPU Settings. Now this might be different depending on what kind of mainboard manufacturer you have, but it's somewhere around that ballpark. If not, you can always Google it. Okay, so under the Advanced CPU Settings option, go inside and you will see an SMT mode. Now this should be set to auto if you haven't touched the setting yet. All you're gonna have to do now is press enter and disable this option. So don't forget to save and exit your setup and usually your BIOS will tell you what you last modified so you can see what changed. Click yes to save the configuration and reset your PC. So in the Task Manager's Performance tab, look at the CPU section. It shows cores and logical processors. In my case, my 5950X has 16 physical cores. With SMT enabled, logical processors should be doubled at 32, because each core can handle two threads. On the other side, if it showed you 16 uh, cores and 16 logical processors, that means SMT is disabled. So that's how you tell. So here are my recommendations. Set quality to ultra. This game leans on your CPU more than your GPU, so even mid-range systems can handle it without much trouble. Anti-aliasing. Go with SMAA. It delivers great edge smoothing with almost no performance cost. 
better than FXAA or turning it off completely. SSAO or screen space ambient occlusion should stay on. It's tied to CPU usage and since that's already the bottleneck, it won't impact your frames much. Same goes for god rays, no performance hit, so leave them enabled. And lastly, FOV. Adjust this to your liking. The default is fine, but ultra wide users might want to increase it for a wider view. That's it. These settings should give you a solid balance of performance and visuals in Schedule 1. If this guy was helpful, feel free to like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Maybe even comment and recommend a game you want to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.